To make a screen capture recording with a Windows-based computer, one of the programs that's good to use is Cam Studio, and I like using the Cam Studio Portable, which we can run as a portable application from a USB drive. It can also be run just from a folder on your computer. Um, I've got it sitting here on my desktop as a, just a single folder, and that has within it a set of three folders, and we just run it by running the .exe file. So we can run this just by running the .exe file. There is no installation that's done, which is one of the nice things about this. We don't need any admin rights to be able to use it. And this is the same as the one that I'd be getting if I was using my portable applications. Now we have a record, a pause, and a stop button. Very simple controls. But we have to decide what we're going to record. We can record the full screen, a window, and that would be uh, if I was going to, for example, just want to record what I'm seeing in this window here, I would click on region and then window and I've selected my window here, that's what's going to be recorded and anything outside of that window wouldn't be recorded. Or I could actually choose a region of the screen where I can draw a box over the part of the screen that I want to have recorded. We need to check our options to make sure that we're actually going to record audio from our microphone. And one other thing that's useful is just go into your uh, video options and choose one of the video codecs that you can use. I found I need to use video 1 because I'm actually doing a recording of my use of this program and I'd get a conflict if I was using a different one. So um, I'm going to change the region to the full screen because I want to see um, what's going on with this program click on record and now I'm recording the full screen with Cam Studio. You can see some information is coming through here. I could actually minimize that. Um, but I'm recording what I've got on my screen here now. And if I was teaching, then I could be working live with students and making changes to the different parts of my document here to show how I could do direct versus indirect speech. Um, that's enough of my actual recording there. I'm going to click on stop. So you can see I can be working with things. It's made my recording, and of course it wants me to be able to save it somewhere. Uh, I've got one already saved here, um, so I'm going to just use the same name there, because it's the second time I've done this. Click on save, and it's now going to produce that as the video. So here is the video that I've got, which uh, is shows the full background as you can see and we'll play it and you might hear that the sound has got to come out of my speakers for me to be able to record this so I'll just make sure that I've set my playback to my speakers because I don't think I have I got them on my headphones here so we'll set that as the default device and then we might be able to hear what's going on so you can hear it's recorded what I was doing there which is great and I've got a full screen recording just going to close that that's already been saved so if you're wanting to record the screen on a Windows based computer Cam Studio is a nice open source free program to use and it, as a bonus can be run as a portable application